Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to fix the GoPro lens distortion. And what the GoPro lens distortion is, is since it uses a bubbled lens to get that wide angle, if you look at your GoPro, um, the lens isn't flat across, it's a bubble. And they do that so that you can get a wider angle because the circle or the sphere there can see more than a flat image, um, a flat piece of glass could. And so when you film with it, you end up getting distorted images sometimes, which can be fine if you, you know, are looking to make a small home video or something like that. But if you're trying to actually use it in, you know, professional footage, then sometimes that really wide angle isn't what you want. So you want to correct that distortion. You can see that distortion right here. And it's the fact that this isn't a straight line. If you think about it, if I film this straight on from the front, this should be a straight line all the way across because the stairs were not coming out in a arch. They were just straight stairs that went across the entire platform. So because of the bubble effect, you have this, this effect where the center stair looks way bigger than the edge stairs and you have this, this arch that goes across. And you can see the arch right here as well. And the stuff in the front looks a little bit bigger than the stuff in the back. The stuff in the back looks a little stretched. It's just the distortion that comes with the lens. However, there are a couple of ways to fix this. So first off, we can just um, use the built-ins, which is actually amazing. So we have an entire lens distortion removal set here. If you just type in lens, um, it's in presets, You there is actually a GoPro section for this. So find the GoPro that you've been shooting on, um, find out what footage you're using, and all you have to do is literally just drag and drop and it's done everything for you. So for example, on this one, I was using the Superview 1080p. Um, I was using a Hero 4, so I just drag that on over and it corrects it right like that. Now, one thing to note is when you remove distortion, you're going to remove some of the footage as well. It's just how it's gonna work because the distortion is what gave you that really big, wide, angled view. So when you, were, when you remove it, you're gonna lose some of the footage. However, you don't have to crop the footage with this. It's going to just undistort it and let things be. So here you can see that it's used something called lens distortion effect right here. Um, oops, that's an older one. Right here, um, lens distortion. So you can actually go and find under, if we just go right here, we go to video effects and then down to distort and then to lens distortion right here. We can add this effect by ourselves. And see, if you'll notice, the lens distortion by itself just has everything set at zero. All this preset does is it sets this to negative 21 and this to negative one. It just found what people thought the best undistortion for that setting was on your camera. So if you wanna do it manually, just go ahead and find the lens distortion and put it on there. So for example, we can turn off GoPros, um, the preset here, and we can just do this manually. So you know, go in one direction and see if it looks better or worse. Obviously, positive numbers are bad here. Um, it distorts it to a point where you start losing the edges. So what we need is we need a negative distortion here. So as we go, it's gonna keep stretching the image out farther and farther. And 21 is where they said it was best. So 20, I'm still seeing a little curve in the steps there. Bump this up maybe just one or two more here. Okay, maybe a little, little negative like 27. Negative 27 actually looks pretty good for this footage. The stairs look perfectly centered and now the the back here looks really centered as well. And so the difference between these is if I turn this one off and this one back on, is their preset, it still had a little bit of curve to it. It looked better, but it still had a little bit of curve. So knowing how to apply this preset and maybe adjust some of the tools can really help you save your footage more. So what they also did, which I don't know if it's that much of a difference, but they put the horizontal prism effect at negative one. And we'll see if that actually makes Okay, so yeah, it brought the edges down a little bit. And now we have almost a little bit of a slag here, which I actually don't like. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset that to zero um, so we can get this back to level. But maybe if we did minus 21 and then like a minus two here, 
that might look that looks pretty good for that and you a little less distortion here so maybe you could even mess around with this and probably go negative 15 get a little bit of your image back and then maybe like minus four on this and be able to yeah so now we have a bit of a wider view um, you still have a little bit of the curve down here but through horizontal prisming which is just bringing the edges all the way down you actually get a pretty cool um, effect here um, it's it corrects it but at the same time gives you a little bit more of the, the image so yeah that is the best way to correct lens distortion it's really easy um, if you're just fine with a drag and drop drag it on find the one that you want drag it on and drop it and it will work pretty good um, if you think that it can use a little bit of change just go right in here and you can just mess around with these settings just a little bit and really dial in what you're trying to look um, dial in maybe if you want the edges a little bit more or you want it a little bit straighter all right everyone thanks for joining me for this quick video on how to fix your GoPro footage in Adobe Premiere um, remember to, subs to subscribe for more Adobe related videos uh, I cover me and a lot of the programs. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, see you guys.